Take a look at uh, problem 5, 7. It says the horizontal surface on which the objects slide is frictionless. If m is equal to 2 kilograms, the tension in string number 1 is 12 newtons, determine f. So we have a m, which is 2 kilograms. We have a 2m, which is 4 kilograms. And we have another 2m, which is 4 kilograms. So mass 1 is 2 kilograms. Mass 2 is 4 kilograms. And mass 3 is 4 kilograms. We have a tension 1, which we know to be 12 newtons. And we have a tension 2, which we don't know. As with all these types of problems, it's probably good to try out to blob the whole thing, since they're all connected and all moving with one common acceleration to the right. So if I did a free di body diagram of this blob, I would have a total mass of 10 kilograms being pulled on by a force F to the right. It also has weight. and also has a normal force, but those are transverse to the motion because the motion is going to the right with some acceleration in A. So if I wrote Newton's second law in the x-direction, I would have the summation of all the forces in the x-direction would be equal to mass times acceleration, and that would equal the net force in the x-direction. In this case, that's simply F. Because the tensions are internal to this blob, they are no longer external if I blob the whole thing together. So that means the acceleration is going to equal F divided by the mass, which is F divided by 10. That's the best I can do with this at this moment, so we'll just kind of save this idea and we'll go on. We want to utilize the fact that tension 1 is equal to 12 newtons. To do that, let's do another free body diagram. Let's focus in on blobbing the first two masses together and do a free body diagram of that. If I blob the first two together, I have a total mass of 6 kilograms. It also has weight, and it's got a normal force. But the only force making it go to the right is tension 1. That's the only thing that's connected in the x direction, causing a force and moving this blob to the right. And it moves to the right with some value of acceleration, which we just determined to be F divided by 10. So let's set up Newton's second law in the x direction. We would say that the summation of all the forces in the x direction will equal this mass, which is m1 plus m2, times acceleration. And that's equal to the net force in the x direction, which is t1, which we happen to know is equal to 12. So what we have is acceleration or 6 kilograms times acceleration is equal to 12. Ah, acceleration is going to equal 12 divided by 6 or 2 meters per second squared. Well that's nice to know because we want to find F and going back we know that acceleration is equal to F divided by 10 so then F would equal 10A and if acceleration is 2, our force F is equal to 20 newtons. So the force F is 20 newtons if the tension T1 is equal to 12 newtons. And that's the answer we're looking for.